Hey, what's going on, everybody? Disclaimer, disclaimer, I am not a professional mechanic. This is my own Dodge Charger. It's a 2014 V6 model. My first time doing a tune-up on it, so I'm being cautious and I'm being patient. I also have a 2013 Dodge Charger. It's a Hemi. The setup is totally different from the tune-ups. This is my first time doing a tune-up on this vehicle, and it needed a tune-up bad. But with the global situation going on, I couldn't afford it. I could not afford it. had to save up for it, and now here we are getting it out the way. So when you work on your own vehicle, please take your time and be cautious. Don't rush the process. Do not rush it. Take your time and be strategic. Learn. Watch videos. Go to YouTube. It doesn't matter. But you will not see everything you need to see in a video. They will not show it all to you because when I watched videos, I did not see this screw in the back. They really didn't talk about how difficult it was to get to. And if you're not a professional mechanic or if you're not a mechanic by trade, you might not have all the tools a mechanic has. And I definitely do not have all the tools a mechanic has. I don't. So I have to be patient and take my time and thank God that I know what I'm doing in this situation. So remember, review the vehicle, see what parts need to come off. And I know I need to remove the air intake. First thing I need to do is disconnect the battery. You don't want anything to happen. When you work on your car, you want to disconnect the battery. You do not want to get shocked. Okay? So take your time. Be patient. Remove the parts that need to be removed. Know what you're removing. Put the screws where they need to be so you can pick these screws up. Do not let them get lost in the midst of a mess of screws or tools that are laying around that you are working with or tools that you're not even working with, but they are in the vicinity. If you don't need the tools, move all the tools you do not need. Use what you have. And also, as I stated earlier, I'm not a professional. I'm looking at where all the sensors are. Disconnecting these sensors that need to be disconnected. Taking my time and I'm being patient. Some of these sensors, they have pressure in them. So you have to find a way to relieve the pressure that are within the sensors. But be patient. See where you are. See what's going on. We have the throttle body right here. So I know I need to take the air intake off from the throttle body. And I see this little plastic screw. I didn't see that on any other video. No one talked about that. Is it a big deal? No. But there are certain things that you must pay attention to to your car. Because you don't want to mess anything up. You do not want to crack the manifold on your car. Because that can cost you some money. A lot of money. Do I know the exact amount? No. But I know it costs a lot of money. That's for sure. So take your time when you remove the covers. Take your time. See how dirty the car is. And once you start cleaning it, then you'll feel much better because this engine is, it, it was dirty. The manifold cover was dirty. Throttle body, as you see right there, is dirty. So what I did, I take my time, I wiped it down, and I also made sure I put a towel right there inside of the throttle body. The reason I put that towel there, because I don't want anything to get into the throttle body. Another parts that need to be disconnected more sensors so take your time look at the sensor see what's going on towel inside the throttle body now finally we have the manifold cover off it took some time to get this off remember you must know what the screws are do not rush this process take your time if you're going to do it yourself find out where all the screws are i showed you earlier in the video where the majority of them are but you need to find them out for yourself put that manifold cover somewhere safe okay and clean clean now, you see what I did with the valves. They're covered up as well, too. You cover that up. You don't want anything open. You don't want anything falling inside of there. You don't. You don't want, not especially when you're doing all this work to clean it up. These spark plugs that I used were Bosch spark plugs. The car comes with champion spark plugs, but I use Bosch. The throttle body's Bosch. Spark plugs are Bosch. It worked out pretty good for me. At the end of the day, everything worked out good for me. The car rides good. Take your time if you're going to work on your car and be patient. Be patient when you work on your car. You don't want to mess things up. Hope you guys enjoyed this short video. You got this.